everyone. It's Saturday the 19th of February. The time is 5.12 or 12 past 5 p.m. And the temperature outside is 29 degrees. We're currently inside Parkway Parade in the area of Marion Parade and the plan today is to keep walking from this area kind of towards home, I guess, uh, which for me, <laughs> my home, not yours, uh, I'd imagine, might be yours as well, depending where you live. But um, I'm thinking of taking uh, Amber Road and uh, my Road. And then We'll see how far we get before the video gets very long. But I started here, I just had a drink between this walk and the last one. It's a very warm day, there's no taxi here it seems. So I'm gonna look out for another one again. That's okay. We'll see. We'll see where I find one. I'm not at all familiar with this shopping center, so. keep wander wandering around until I find an exit. It's uh, actually much bigger than I thought. There's a lot of shops and a uh, food court downstairs as well. So that's new to me in this area. And we're running into a wall of stores. Uh, Marks and Spencer up there, I think. It's quite a big place. And on uh, quite a few door floors as well, not door sport floors. So I don't really want to. Uh, basement and I don't really want the uh, restaurants, I kind of want to find my way to an exit that's open. then now we are going to have to go this way because there is practically no way other than to a bus stop from where I came in so it has to be some other way I like this shop not that I need anything in there but that would be one if I did visit one I'd probably visit that one there's the store selling exercise equipment down there. I see doors, the question is whether they are open. My guess is going to be that this is the way out because there are people sitting by the entrance. Just use your sign that you can sign in and out. And then hopefully it's not just a taxi stand or something like that. I can actually keep walking. This area, if you haven't watched the earlier video, it's a 
got a lot of construction going on for the MRT line. So this is definitely a taxi stand, but I think I see people going out this way. I think someone was telling me in the comments that it's not possible to get lost in Singapore. Yes, it is if you go into a shopping center and you try to find a way out in these times when we only have some of the doors in use, definitely possible for me to get lost. I always find my way out though, eventually. coming out the street level. And what we're going to do from here is follow Marine Parade Road for a little bit. As you can see, there's the construction for the MRT line going on. But in just a little bit, we should get to an area that's mostly uh, residential. Well, I walk through uh, Amber Road and then Maya Road. We'll see where that takes us. Defining feature around here these days are the condos. It's an interesting area in the sense that, of course, it didn't used to be here, it's reclaimed land. Katong, which is sort of just a on the right side of the road here. It's a history as a seaside area and a nice area for the little bit wealthy to have their sort of larger houses. And there used to be a fishing village. And currently as we're walking, on my left side would be a East Coast Park and the coastline. And all of these condos that we're seeing here, all of them are basically on land that didn't used to be there. So that's kind of an interesting, interesting thing about this area. And of course, some of the condos would have been built where the uh, village used to be here. Or the areas of houses that the uh, people used to own here. And you still can find those nice shop houses in Katong. There's a really nice building hiding there. And the uh, roadworks and the shade of the uh, condos. So Amber Road does a weird thing here where you can see it continues on to the uh, right, but it also continues on straight. So I'm going to keep walking in the same direction and just kind of go around here. Of the 
row of buildings that we just walked by. All the cars have to go around here. It's a condo called Silver Sea. One of these ones around here is called Alto, which is a Finnish word for wave. surrounded by these condos now. Is there a pedestrian way through it to... Uh, there must be. Yes. On the side there is, I see people going in. Well, this looks like it's been here for a while. into a construction site. I can already see through those up. Won't be too long. And we're coming now to a uh, Amber Road. The building in the corner has really nice paintings. I saw them on the other side. But a similar theme on this side. I quite like the colors. It's very striking. nice house on my left here. I think we'll get a better view once we're past it. Just kind of sandwich in between the uh, condos there. There is a condo right behind it. Kind of been <laughs> built sort of almost centimeters away from this, this place. So it's kind of a mix of things around here. But I think uh, fair to say, oh, this is the Chinese swimming club, which I think does have some kind of a history around here as well. But yeah, it does have this feel like it's mostly an area of condos now. That kind of a Condo living. Even with those couple of exceptions here and there, it's a fairly high rise. Especially just next to Katong and uh, Galeng areas. That would be the swimming club with the actual pool, I guess, over there. I have a feeling there's a route through the east coast through there and I'll sometime walk through here to get the east coast. I 
anyway, yeah. I was just saying that the uh, surrounding areas tend to be lower buildings, and that's not so much only because uh, they have sort of more traditional uh, buildings. Many of those are actually being uh, turned into condos, even very narrow ones. But the surrounding areas, you cannot have uh, very tall buildings because of the airport close by. So there's a limit to how high the buildings can be in some areas like Galen. But not so much here. And you can see more coming up. Even right now. This is kind of cool, whatever it is. Maybe a reminder of something that used to be here. Doesn't seem to fit with any of the modern buildings around. Amber Sky condo over there. There's a massive balcony. Wonder if some of them have three views. That would be pretty awesome. Some of the older condos around here are actually not as expensive for a sea view as you might think. The new ones I'm sure are. Costly. But ironically, the older ones also have uh, larger apartments. I visited one of those. With kind of TVs, and I think uh, if you need a lot of space and if you have a condo living plan in mind, then that can be something that's uh, achievable, although it sounds like it's maybe not. Depends everyone's situation. So here we are coming to Tanchon Katong Road South. I want to make my way across. It seems that it's easier set than done here. That's the flyover. And I think I need to cross sort of where there is no traffic here and uh, go behind there this way to, uh, I don't know, but I know it's not going to work out the other way. So we'll go through here into the darkness of uh, another construction site. Here are the lovely views <laughs> that we are going out of. I don't know if I'll even be able to cross and where, but this will take me somewhere. It's so dark. There's someone's pool there. way to a bus stop on Mount Baden Road. Mount Baden Road would work, although I did want to uh, do something else in between. Oh well. Maybe I'll make this uh, a little bit shorter video. With just kind of a glimpse of the residential areas rather than a longer walk. This is so close by that I can always come back to the residential areas close to Dantjong uh, Katong Road. So the fly over there that we just passed would take you to uh, East Coast.
kind of a mixed view now with condos up ahead and this almost tunnel-like space between the sound barrier and the gated area. Is there a crossing? Or where is there a crossing? There will be at some point. Just probably have to uh, rethink my route. There are also works being done on Tangchan Katong Road. So I think I might cut it short and return to the uh, residential area another day when I can kind of do a longer tour. You can see some of the houses that I was kind of uh, hoping to show on this video on the other side. It's an interesting area with some detached houses. Kind of goes from condos to uh, these mansion type of uh, living arrangements on the other side. I think I'll leave the longer trek through there for another day, but we can still cross at the lights there and uh, go for a little bit longer to see the contrast a little bit. I think you can see it even from here as we come to the lights. Some of the houses there are huge, it's just massive. So I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's another one of those a little bit chaotic walks where I don't know where I'm going from the start. But it worked out pretty well. I got to where I was going. And uh, pretty much where I was going. And we'll go from there on another video soon. So it started at the uh, Parkway Parade shopping center and had a little bit of look there. And then uh, walked to uh, Amber Road and had a look at some condos and the area around those condos. And now we come to a little bit more of a residential area with detached houses and uh, pretty nice ones at that. There's the little, uh, not so little actually, the garden shop I like mentioned in another walk by here and I think I do want to cross because I don't want to walk along Mountbatten Road specifically. I think we're coming to half an hour, that's a good length for a video anyway. We we'll walked by the little uh, garden shop if the lights change. Button has been pressed. <laughs> things coming this way. I don't know. I think it won't go by. Okay, here we go. Let's just uh, have a look at the garden shop and I'll end this video here and then on one of the next ones I'll take a proper look at the uh, residential area. That's been a pretty warm day so I'm looking forward to going swimming afterwards and uh, we can pick it up at another time, go really look at some nice houses with good time. I really love this place.
imagine if you could live like this, have all the plants and probably someone caring for them. I, <laughs> I know it's a lot of work, but I just, I love this type of thing. So cool. And they're very helpful as well. Been here a few times. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'll make, make a turn to the very English sounding uh, Bonnemouth Road. And I think we'll end somewhere along here. If you'd like to see more of these videos, then like on any other YouTube channel, you can subscribe to the channel and then get notifications on when there are new videos but you know that thank you so much everyone always glad to have you with me and I will aim to return here to this very grand looking houses and the surrounding residential area on another video And with these views, I hope I'll see you again soon.